Hey everyone, it's Joanne Molinaro, the Korean vegan, and today I'm going to show you how to make strawberry mochi and strawberry mochi ice cream. I know, it's a twofer. This is going to be an instructional video, only because this recipe is a little bit more nuanced than my recipes tend to be. But don't worry, I've written the links to the full written recipes in the description below. But otherwise, this is a childhood favorite of mine. I used to eat it all the time when I was little, and I can't wait to get started. <music> So chapter one is going to be the strawberry mochi ice cream. I know it seems a little backwards, shouldn't we start with the mochi first, but you'll see what I mean. We're going to have to line our miniature muffin tin with some parchment paper to make sure that both our ice cream and our mochi balls don't stick. Now, I just folded that parchment paper up and cut out small circles that were the size of my muffin bottoms and then I drop them into all of my little muffin openings, if you will. Then I scooped out some ice cream into balls, added them to the muffin tin. This actually was the most complicated part, and it took me a few tries, but I realized that just using two spoons or a scooper and a spoon was the best bet. Then we're gonna make our mochi or our wrappers. We're gonna start with some sugar and then we're gonna add some sweet white rice flour. And guys, do not use regular white rice flour. You need to use the sweet white rice flour. Add some freeze dried strawberries. This is the secret to this recipe. I wanted both color and tartness to my actual mochi, not the ice cream part, right? So what I did was I added a quarter cup of freeze-dried strawberries as well as another quarter cup of ground freeze-dried strawberries to my flour mix. Next, we're gonna add some water and we're gonna mix it all up. Then we're gonna cover the lid of this bowl. I used a reusable cover trying to go plastic free guys. And I stuck this in the microwave for one minute and that's what you get. So you can see that the edges are a little bit darker and almost translucent, whereas the middle is still nice and soft. We're gonna stick that back in the microwave for another 45 seconds and that's when you get our beautiful mochi dough. It's sticky, almost like taffy. And because it's so sticky, everyone, we really need to use a lot of potato starch, like a lot. My recipe calls for a full cup of potato starch and really all it's meant to do is to make sure that the dough doesn't stick to your hands, doesn't stick to your shirt, doesn't stick to itself. You can see that beautiful mochi dough. And what we're gonna do is we're going to flatten this out using a rolling pin. Again, make sure to dust everything with potato starch. The first time I didn't and my rolling pin stuck to the dough. It was a total mess and a disaster. So I'm trying to save you all the pain of that. So as you can see, I'm sort of folding the dough up into a nice neat rectangle and then I'm gonna roll it out into a 1 4th inch thick sheet. Look at how beautiful it looks. And in case you didn't notice, I coordinated my outfit for this recipe video, picked a nice bright pink shirt to go with my strawberry mochi. So once you've rolled it out into a nice and thin sheet, I'm gonna add just a bit more potato starch to coat this again to make sure that I don't have any stickiness issues. And then what I do is I use actually a small bowl. Um, well, first I take out my ice cream from the freezer and then I use a small bowl to cut out discs, like wrappers for my ice cream balls. And then I pop one of these ice cream balls in the center and I just bring the wrapper around the ice cream ball like so. And then what I do is I pinch it at the top like that. flip it over, and then I stick it back into my muffin tray. So I'm just gonna repeat that. I take a small bowl, create a disc, which is going to be my wrapper, drop an ice cream ball in the center, and then just bring the wrapper and fold it up and around my ice cream ball, and then I pinch the tops. 
and then I put it pinch side down back into my muffin tin. Now I had some leftover scraps as you can see. What I did is I rolled it out again and then I created more wrappers out of the scraps. Definitely recommend that you use up every last bit of your dough here. Now of course, if you don't want to make ice cream out of it, you can just eat it, <laughs> which is what I actually did for chapter two of this recipe video. But as you can see, it rolls out into a nice thin sheet and I have plenty left over for probably about three more wrappers. Now you all can see that my ice cream balls are like jagged and like totally not pretty. That's completely fine. They're going to be wrapped up in this pretty pink dough anyway and then stuck back in the freezer. Now before we stick it back in the freezer, I'm gonna dust it lightly with a little bit more potato starch and that just is kind of pretty. <laughs> and it also makes handling it very easy when they come out of the freezer. So we're gonna stick it in the freezer for two hours. Now on to chapter two. First, I take a bite of my strawberry mochi and confirm that is absolutely delicious. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use what's left over to create that classic mochi shape. This is what you see in the Japanese bakeries or the Korean bakery. They sell these at the Korean grocery store all the time. I love it. It's not really complicated, just roll it into a ball. And then what I do is I create a ring with my thumb and my index finger. And then I press the dough into that ring. See, you can see that and it creates this lovely dome. And then what I do is I kind of dust it with a little bit more potato starch, wipe off the excess, and then I sort of pinch the bottoms again with my thumb and my index finger to create that beautiful round shape. And then I roll it in the potato starch to close off the seam at the bottom. And that is strawberry mochi. It is so delicious and look at how beautifully it stretches. Oh my God, how is your mouth not watering? Mine is watering right now. That is the strawberry mochi ice cream right out of the freezer. I'm gonna pop one out using a knife, be very careful. And you guys, don't try cutting into this or eating your strawberry mochi ice cream without waiting the requisite two hours. I did that the first time. I ended up with a squashed ball of melted ice cream. You don't want that. Look at how pretty it is on the inside. And it tastes just like I remembered it when I was growing up. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future Korean vegan videos. Have a lovely day!